Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to I Am Abundance channel, where all that we talk about here is becoming the best version of yourself and living a better life every single day, okay? So, what we're going to be talking about today is how to tie a tie and what knots that I like to use. Um, whether I'm going to be going to an interview or I'm going to be going on a date, you can use this knot. It's very versatile and it's very easy to do once you learn how to do it, okay? So, I'm going to be going over the double Windsor. So, Stick around all the way to the end of the video and let's get to it, okay? All right, so we're in my bathroom. I'm just gonna be giving everybody a mirrored demonstration. So as you're following along, it's a bit easier when you're watching the video, you can see exactly how it would look as if you're in the mirror, okay? So as you can see here, I have my narrow end, the smaller end, about approximately two inches above my belt. That's where you wanna have your tie placed as you're getting ready to tie your tie. Right, so we're gonna go nice and slow here, and we're gonna go and take the wide end and cross it over the narrow end. And then you're gonna see here, I'm gonna use my left hand to go in and bring the wide end underneath the loop that you have currently around your neck. Go ahead and feed that through all the way. And then at this point, I'm gonna make sure that the tie is flush and there's no crinkles where the neck loop is. And then now, I'm gonna go ahead and switch hands. So you're gonna bring the wide end underneath the loops that you just created. And then you're gonna bring it over the neck loop. And then go ahead and feed that through. There's going to be two loops here, okay? So make sure you have your two loops and then you know that you're going to be doing good. All right, and so for this next part, I want you to think of your index finger like a little bridge. And you're going to use that little bridge to go ahead and drape the wide end of the tie over your bridge. This is gonna create a little funnel. So when we secure our tie, we're gonna go ahead and feed it through there. All right, so now you're gonna go from the inside of the neck loop and grab the wide end all the way through. And then using that little funnel that you created with the little bridge of your index finger, you're gonna go ahead and feed the tie through there. Okay, so using both hands, I'm using my left hand in this case, I'm going to go in and grab the top of the knot and then using my right hand, I'm slowly guiding the tie up to my neck. And then make sure the top of your button is buttoned before you secure your collar. And one important thing that I'm doing here is I'm forming the knot and making sure that I have a nice good solid V shape. As you're doing this and bringing the tie to your neck, you are forming and shaping the tie so it looks clean and fresh. everybody if you made it all the way into the video thank you very much for watching if this really helped then definitely go to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this i really appreciate you guys watching all the way into the video because i know that tying a tie and looking good is important look good and you feel good then you are definitely going to feel more confident and ready to achieve whatever you need to achieve let's get to it guys so don't forget that if you need to then definitely of course pause and rewind it watch the video as many times as you need to to make sure that you have tie ready for the next event that you're going to be doing okay so thank you guys very much and we'll see you on the next video